Okay, so I decided to make a video on these watercolor pencils. A couple of reasons why. The main reason is that the this product isn't the product that I ordered on Amazon. Um, I did order these, but the packaging is different. And um, there's newer packaging as opposed to this old packaging. And on the newer packaging, it shows light, it claims light fast and claims uh, artist grade. Um, now it did look, and it does look like they're just different printed labels. They're from the same factory, same place, and all that. Vietnam, made in Vietnam, and so distributed, I think, in the UK. Um, so it's the same thing, same place and location. Um, and it does say premium pigment. My belief, and a lot of other beliefs, I think, from other people, I mean, that experience these is that they had this first run to kind of put them in into um, out and um, for artists to use and test them first before claiming light fast and claiming maybe other things I'm not really sure all I know is that the packaging is different than what I got um, from what I ordered so I wanted to do that that way in the event that these don't aren't what I ordered or really what I wanted or turned out to be not light fast or anything like that then I can just um, take action against that so anyway the other reason is that there's just not a lot of videos on this so like I said for anyone who does get this by accident or just gets this packaging um, and these labels the back is different than what was displayed on um, the Amazon that I ordered um, so I thought I'd just do a review on this one. I'm using, um, so this is just the 12 pack of um, watercolor pencils, and I'm gonna do a swatch on four light fast to test um, with my other ones, and I'll do a review on those at the end of the year, I think, and compare them to um, a new, instead of like next to them, like some people put tape and do that, I was just gonna re make new swatches and then compare that. Um, to old work so or old swatches so this is uh, Fabriano paper um, I'm not sure I don't believe it's like 100% cotton but it's watercolor paper from Fabriano um, you know 100 150 pounds I think and it's made to scrub and do everything like that but it is um, acid free so be just fine. All right, so let's get into it. I didn't want to take so long even doing that. So it looks like you get the the um, pencil case out from the side, which is awesome. And that's it. Okay, so now that we have the label established, it doesn't say what I read on. The one that I ordered, um, but it is the same colors and the same factory and stuff. So, all right, let me go ahead and remove this. I might have a pencil bag. I'll end up putting these in for convenience, but I don't know. So, anyway, go ahead and hold on to this sleeve. All right, and these are what the pencils look like. So it looks like they're pretty plain, except for their logo and names, which is great. And they look nice. Okay. Here are the colors, black, burnt sienna, grass, true blue, lush green, azure, plum, soft peach red, orange, yellow, and white. Now, like I said, the, others, uh, the other label is the same. It does claim white fast on the other one in artist grade. Um, however, um, even though they claim I like white fast in artist uh, premium, artist grade, they still have the same names. Grass, true blue, lush green, it's the same, which is strange because I would think it would have I don't know, so maybe these are the whole line of the watercolor pencils might be a whole new formula 
then their pens and pencils they didn't just make the same formula and put it in a stick so maybe they don't use the same pigments for any of them or something I'm not really sure these are wax based pencils um, so I don't know exactly how they're made they're supposed to be break resistant leads and points most watercolor pencils wear down pretty quickly so we'll see about that on these um, alright so it's been five minutes so I'll get into it I'm just gonna start from um, just the top down, not in no particular order, just the order of the pencils, I mean. So, it lays down pretty well. Um, that's not bad, actually. I've used the same amount of effort on other watercolor pencils, even, I think, like, yeah, water, other watercolor pencils wear down just as quickly, if not more, than this one um, did. And um, I think even the Kimberly ones I have, I think even my Koei Race. So, but that, I mean, they are cheaper, but these aren't expensive. I got this 12 set for, eh, like 12 something. So, and I think it even went lower in price when I got back on. So, um, to check, to make sure when I got my case, I was like, uh, Pretty sure I ordered this because I saw that it said Artist Light Fast and all that, but it is the same set, so I think a lot of people also knew the same thing, that they kind of made the test run first like this and assumed they would reprint the labels that said it for demand, and they did. I'm, I'm gonna swatch these with a flat brush, so... I'm not, probably not going to leave any of this dry to compare how it dries over time, but maybe I will. Maybe the very, the very top. Yeah, I'll do that. I should have made these a little bit bigger, but that's okay. I just want to see how these work. Yeah, pretty good. I don't, I like that. I don't mind. I expected it to kind of wear down a good eighth, and it's more like half of the, half of what I thought. Um, a lot of artist grade uh, pencils are. It just depends on what brand you get. It can be really good, but could. You know, you might not need a lot for what you get. So it's cost effective. These would be like a dollar, basically a dollar a pencil. So extremely cost effective no matter what. Um, when they do come like perfect, perfectly flat at first. And I just started using it on the side. But compared to my Kimberly watercolor pencils, which I believe the Kim there's Kimberly sells two different kinds of watercolor pencils at least. And... The ones that I have are their artist grade apparently, um, and it came in a gift from years ago. I'm a, I got it as a gift, so I love those pencils. They're very light. They're meant to layer a lot, and they work really well. But for artist grade, they don't have a lot of pigment right away, and they fade down. But they fade lovely. So I'm I'm, I'm guessing they're just meant to kind of lay down really well. So I want to see how these fade away or how they work, because if that's the case, this will be great for. Uh, type of um, set you take out where you need vivid colors so maybe you gotta work faster and then on other things like sketches you could take your time under drawings or botanical stuff or portrait stuff you need to layer the Kimberly watercolor pencils oh my gosh they're they're pretty amazing pretty um, pretty beautiful colors And even though they shift in their tint a little bit, kind of, or just in their opacity, just kind of lighter. I feel like the color is the same. And the color doesn't change. So that, that's what I was meaning to say. It's pretty, pretty good. Okay. 
This is cold pressed fine grain watercolor paper made in Italy, Fabriano. And I just sent it a while ago. I just cut this into sections, but the reason is because I don't know the ratio. It doesn't say it on there. It's a, I have actually a big thing of this, like a board, and I cut it. A pack, a pack of the Fabriano that I got. Um, it's cheaper to buy a huge amount. So pretty good for the rest of the year on paper. I also have a lot of paper like from that I'm testing out as well. So I'll probably I did a test portrait on one paper, but it didn't come out well. And uh, I was eager just to do this portrait thing to get out of the way. I wasn't usually love doing portraits and I wasn't feeling it. I had a feeling I wasn't feeling it from the beginning. So I should have it was a, just a, a person, so I should have just did it of myself sometimes. To help sell or I could have just really I wanted I've been wanting to go outside to paint to be honest but it's over 100 and it's not too big a deal but um, I just don't want to deal with it right now I just got over a small illness and didn't want to push myself by going on a hike right after just need a few more days to fully recover um, I am kind of pressing down mildly on this. This is kind of hard to get down, so as you can tell, I put a, a good little chisel there. So I'm going to even that out a little bit. Just by putting a chisel on the other side. So this one's a little hard to see. This is soft peach, so I guess that says enough there. Um, it's like in some light, it almost washes away. And I have my light bulb above me so sorry for the glare but I've tried I've done videos without the light and they're they're okay but they're not that great for showing vividness of color so that's what that looks like this will be great for um very light flesh tones just this just this one alone can be great for some sketches and then also the red can never go wrong with red it's the probably the best color so, I have, um, yeah, it comes out really well. This cold press, because of the rough texture of the tooth, the cold press and the tension that I put on there, it'll wear out faster, which is okay. I'm like, this is still going to last a long time for its money, definitely. It's basically a dollar, an artist grade pencil. So, um, I think it's a great deal. Yeah, this is very vivid, easy to put down really quick. Um, but hot press paper would probably be best for this. I have hot press paper, but I have it on a, that is my hot press is 100% cotton and it's on a block, so I didn't want to use, I have used blocks for swatches and they're great, but they're not necessary for me because I'm not needing that like type of detail when I do swatches, it's just for the color. Um, and you know, how it dries and shifts and stuff, so it's not for like anything for that kind of line of work of like great detail or just my own, what you know, what I work on. People, a lot of people like that, so uh, there you go. But, um, definitely depends on what you're trying to do. But I, I recommend, definitely recommend hot press for these pencils. It would lay down smoother, last longer because the teeth aren't wearing down. The teeth aren't wearing down uh, of the paper, aren't wearing down your lid, your lid, the tip of your um, pencil. So your, I meant to say lead, which is also wrong. But all right, now white. I was using a cold erase and that didn't work. Um, well, because the thing was completely water soluble, so I'm just going to use a, a line, probably two lines. No, like one's good. No, we'll do two. Okay, just using a regular pencil. Uh, it's, it's in between maybe like HB and D. Okay, so I'm guessing I don't want to smear. Well, it doesn't matter. I was gonna say I don't want to smear the the lead, but that it doesn't matter. The graphite. I 
and I'm just going in circular motions just to lay down that white layer so that I can, if any, I can see. I mean, it, it took it down. So, it is down there now. Before we test that, I'm just going to see all these closes. It does look pretty loose. Nothing that special about this. I wonder if like I can put some type of like a divider that has that rear that texture. It's good for these and use that as a mixing board for this, but not that big a deal. Things are meant to be worked on paper. It closes really well actually. It's it's got um kind of a little latch on both sides. So it's not going away anytime soon. In fact taking it out might be a little bit of a challenge. There you go. So yeah. Definitely fits on the lid. Snap shut. I really like this. If it had a hinge, it might be even better. But because it doesn't, but it has another locking thing, that's just as fine. Pretty even. I'm gonna swatch using just regular water with a brush. Regular brush. Okay, I'm a lefty, so it's gonna be a little strange, but I'm gonna go backwards. So I'll start with the white. Nothing to see much there. It's definitely white in the water. Yeah. And with a little closer, so you can probably try to see. And I'm gonna move this sideways since I'm painting sideways. It can look a little, a little bit more even. Okay. So since we kind of missed the yellow one, I'll try to do the others and see if they come alive. There is a, a light on this brush. You can see this light is right above me. So, apologize, but this is very washed out because of that. Just keep that in mind. Mm -hmm, they kind of disappeared. Okay, I'm gonna be doing this not the right way. So I'm gonna work my way up on this. Because the yellow came out amazing. And these are coming up pretty light. Like really light. So. I don't know how I feel about them actually. I think my Kimberly ones just spread a little bit better. I've heard some people, a lot of people say they were underwhelmed. And I was like, really? Like, kind of thought, I wonder why, but I totally feel underwhelmed. <laughs> The uh, and then I compare them to the Kimberly. The yellow seem to be just fine, but as you can see, I don't know. This might be acquired. It just seems to not move so much kind of desaturate so I don't know but those are 
the winter newton. In fact, you know, I'm so weirded out by that. I'm gonna use a different paper and also I'm gonna use different I can't really see through. I'm gonna cut to the chase a little bit. It's kind of took some time, but this didn't come out like I wanted at all. So we're gonna use some Goodbye Fabriano paper. I wonder if I was using the uh, the wrong side actually. That could have played a big part, but I don't think so. So what we're gonna do is be safe. This is some watercolor paper here, and it's got all the information. So it's Harmeo watercolor, mold made. And this one is 100% cotton. So here we go. Oh, okay. Now I'm gonna do some Winsor Newton swatches and compare them to the Kimberly swatches. I'm gonna use a different brush too. This paper, by the way, feels really good. It's very rigid, but it has so much grit. It works fast. Almost like using sandpaper. That's how fine it is. The tooth is like fine sand. I only had four hours of sleep, so I need to probably take a nap after this or lay down, but I know that I need to make sure I don't rush this any more than I already am. I just want to give a fair comparison and a fair first impression. I feel like I might have done that on the back of the that paper. I, Cut that paper and thought I had it all faced the right direction, but all I had to do was just not pay attention. Okay. And I also, in general, I would probably color deeper. I'm not sure, but you never know. Right, now I'm going to compare dry Kimberly colors okay the Windsor Newton is a little bit more vivid in the yellow it looks like so keep going and see if we notice anything else they lay down the same um the winter noon might be a little bit easier. The colors of winter noon look a little bit more vibrant. I love the red of the Kimberly. It reminds me of like type of, like blood. So we'll see how they do. The other one's a little bit more redder than winter noon. And um, I'm also going to compare on the side here. This is going to be a polychromos. Because I have some of those for this set. And 
Just trying to find some matching colors with my Kimberly set. I don't have any petal tint. And this is my purple, the Kimberly set. <clears throat> oh, it looks like I have, well, no. What is this? Yeah, this is not flash, but another Kimberly color. And blue. Wow, I just realized I don't think I left room for these much. But, uh, that's okay. I just want to see how they spread. If they spread evenly, you know, then I know that maybe I did the I, that maybe I used the wrong paper. But if anyone has Hanamil paper thinking of buying it, I'm going to be honest. It feels, um, I have arches. And it's different. This is cool paper. If you're just using paint, use this. If you have watercolor pencils, use it. It's great for both. These aren't the same colors, which is why I like that I got both. I had a feeling Windsor Newton was going to be more vivid, but these aren't that bad in comparison either. But I think these Kimberly ones are considered artist great, so it's good that they compare equally. Okay, uh, that's about it. Um, this is like, well, I'm going to do this color just because it's one of my favorite colors, I think. This is a teal, but it's almost like Prussian or blue indigo. I don't know. Alright. That's about all of them close enough. I have another blue I'll use. I have all the blues because I have like three blues. Okay. Alright. Now for brushes, I'm just going to use, oh, I have a cotton brush. I'll just use a cotton brush. Or no Da Vinci brush. and dosh brush <laughs> da Vinci alright now that is what I expect from watercolor pencil so that other paper either the paper I really think I used the wrong thing in the paper so I didn't want to just I don't edit video so you're just gonna have a long ass video um, Anyway, so we're swatching Kimberly first. I mean, it's beautiful. Kimberly pencils, they have two different kinds, the watercolor ones. Um, but if you can find the premium ones, they're going to be just as cheap, just a little bit harder to find maybe, and um, they are amazing. I mean, look at this. This comes to life, and it's very workable. Like Now, a lot has to do with the paper. Most of everything has to do with the paper, but um... I have a good stack of this, and I have other paper to review, but I'm going to be honest, this one may not be the best paper I've ever seen <laughs> or used. It's pretty amazing. Alright, going to finish the rest. Some of these are going to be a little bit contaminated from the other pigments is all. But, just going to demonstrate how each of these pigments uh, spreads and gets their color out but my, and it's pretty amazing by the end of this my brush doesn't hold too much water so by the time I get back down the swatch it's pretty dry I can keep a little more water I'll try it with this red but yeah I end up just going too far down so I don't want to do that so it'll be a little bit more dry at the end for the sake of now the other Fabriano paper I believe is really great at lifting but 
Sounding is great too. Spreads really well too. Works really well. And if I'll get a bloom there for what I just did, watercolor calls out your mistakes. You can fix that. Okay. Now I'm just playing with it. Okay. All right. Look at that. Indigo, Prussian blue, teal. It's just all a great color. All right, Windsor Newton, you're up. As far as Kimberly, here's a Kimberly review now. They look amazing. Pretty much dry. I mean. The paper makes all the difference. People aren't lying when they say that. When you go to the store um, and you look at all the different papers, don't look at the papers that all are next to each other because they all are going to look the, and work the same. You're not going to understand. Find um, compared way different qualities and types, and but um, in general, it should feel like sandpaper. So, I mean, I hope that these paints are light fast. And the reason I say that is because the camera really seems to kind of have the edge. But there we go, look at that pigment. Maybe just because I've used the Kimberly's longer too, I'm a little biased, so I've got to remember that. Might be more comfortable if I use these a little bit more. Um, they don't seem as good as the Kimberly though. And uh, we're gonna test that here with the polychromos. Polychromos is, I'd say, almost uh, uh, just slightly a little bit more vivid than Windsor than Windsor Newton. Not as vivid as the Kimberly, um, but spreads way better than the um, the others. Are just as good, if not better, than the others. Okay. It's a little frustrating because it seems like you have to really focus on the control of these. You know, it's, I don't know how to explain it. Um, but it's it's great as well. I'm gonna have this a little drier just to be able to even see it. I didn't put too much pigment. I feel like this is the pigment amount that I would use to color anything in, especially if I was doing watercolor. I would want to shade, shade a, uh, a layer. But even if I didn't, it's just too much would be too much. So. So what we have here All right 
right. So, as it dries, I mean, there's really not much to say. The paper can tell you enough. Um, when I compare these, I really don't know what else to say. The Kimberly look better. They, they work better. They felt better. They're smoother. And all the pigments are smooth. I've worked out the um, potential blooming I was going to get here. And it worked out perfect. There's no blooming on the inside at all. Crazy. Polychromos has some pigment moved around. But the gradient is perfect. It went very nicely out. The Winter Newton. There's different ships pigments here. Just not the same here. Now they could be brushwork, but while this is wet on the pigment, something about binder really makes a big difference because obviously because look how that one blended out really well. And the same brush. But it just seems like this one kind of shows more of the brushwork. compared to this so now we do light fast up next now I kind of if I had to choose between Kimberly and Winter and I would, I would definitely go to do Kim Kimberly again um, but I don't regret these watercolor pencils because the, the, the tin is so small um, I'm just going to keep this in my bag, which is what I really wanted to do anyway. My Kimberly pencils were a gift, and I kind of don't want to use them up too bad. But now this just taught me that I'll use up my Winsor Newton and then just buy another set of the um, Kimberly pencils. That said, um, as I use them more, I'll be better at working with them, and I'll figure it out. But from first impressions, I mean, it is what it is. Um, but... They both look kind of the same, to be honest, in terms of, like, their vividness a little bit. I'd still say Kimberly's better at vividness. Um, the colors are very identical. I like the colors on both, to be honest. Um, the brown's a little bit darker on the um, Kimberly. But, yeah, I don't really see much difference. Uh, more saturation in the Winsor Newton. And time will tell if these are light fast because um, it's not on the label that I got, even though it's the product that I ordered. So, yeah, thanks for watching almost 40 minutes of this.